Yo, what is up YouTube, Fury here, bringing you guys a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to win more games in your solo showdown, that way you can get your best possible placement at the end of your 50 games, but before we get into today's video, if you guys do enjoy, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, don't forget to turn on those post notifications, and if you get first like on any of my videos, make sure you send me a Twitter image, I'll hit you guys back with that follow, and with that said, let's get right into today's video. If you guys are interested in winning some free V-Bucks, we are currently giving away 6000 v bucks to you guys all you got to do to enter is like the video subscribe if you aren't already and turn on those post notifications as well as follow the gleam link in the description down below there's going to be six winners a thousand v bucks each good luck to everyone so with this solo showdown playlist coming into the game i know a lot of you guys want some tips and tricks on how to win more games that way you can get your best possible placement at the end of your 50 games right so if you guys do not know this solo showdown is basically a contest after your first 50 games they go based on placement so whatever you place in each of your games they'll get added onto your points and then at the end of your 50 games you'll get put up onto a leaderboard and depending on where you place in between everybody playing now i'm not completely sure if this goes console by console or it's every console combined but i know at the end of the season or i'm sorry end of 50 games whatever your placement is you get rewarded v bucks if you are in the top 100 now they haven't updated leaderboards updated standings for you guys to see if you guys want to check that out i will leave the link in the description down below if you guys want to see who the top 1000 are currently now there are people on this list that have not finished their 50 games which is really impressive because if you do place just on this list with like 40 something games and you still have another 10 to go which is really good really likely for you to move up even higher than uh, you know where you are currently right so obviously the top 100 get prizes all the other ones don't but it is still pretty cool if you do get onto the standings now tip number one to give you guys the best possible chance of winning each game is to land in a location that isn't named really so most of these name locations are popular spots for people to go and even if this is the solo showdown mode a lot of people will still land in tilted towers retail row regardless because some people just don't care they just want to play it normally because if they think of it as a contest as a tournament they might not play as well because they're thinking too much about it so you know landing in these non-named locations i'd say like uh, i'd say outside of retail row say farther edges of that map or just anywhere farther edges of the map where pe not a lot of people usually land is probably a good spot. Um, I know a few people land at like the motel hotel area um, on the outer of you know outer side of the map by Junk Junction and stuff like that. Those are pretty good locations to land. You're not going to see too many people in these spots. You're going to have a lot of time to loot, a lot of time to grab materials, whatever it may be. That way you're better off in the later game. Now once you're done looting these areas and you're running to the circle, there's going to be at least 40 people left, which is still a really good standing even if you do end up dying then but even just that initial just you know last lasting the first wave is really important so landing in these farther spots by the time you get to the circle there's going to be 40 people left and you already have a better chance of surviving longer than most now like i said in this solo showdown contest they don't care how many kills you get so even if you're in the top 10 and have one kill regardless you're still getting the points that you need they don't add additional points for the amount of kills that you have they just go based on placement and whatever it may be i mean a lot of kills doesn't mean you're gonna get a good placement right so even if you land tilted get a bunch of kills and you end up dying 50th it still doesn't really affect you because those kills don't affect the score that you end up having so it's definitely a good idea just to land in these farther spots end up running a good amount you might as well just waste as much time as you can looting grabbing materials that way you're better off in the late game and uh, that way once you get to the late game you're able to build as much as you can most of these people that do land in tilted towers or retail row are not going to have many materials to build so they're obviously going to end up dying in a gunfight because they can't outbuild the other opponent who has materials and that did land in an outer location now obviously the more kills you get the more loot you're going to have but again those kills don't really turn into points so um, even if you do get those kills you're risking your life more than you really should and it's not really a good idea if you do want to end up winning these solo showdown games Another tip for you guys, this game mode, like I mentioned, does not matter how many kills you get. So this tip basically goes along with that. So say if you do see an enemy at a distance, you do get a little bit uh, like greedy, I guess. It's something like I'd like to do a lot. I like to see, I see somebody and I go rush them. Really bad idea, honestly, in this game mode. I definitely recommend you just leave them be. And if they're in a gunfight, just let them have it. If anything, you could just start third partying from a distance. Don't get too close just because the chance of them having an RPG or them one pumping you is 
very, very high in this game mode. So I definitely don't recommend engaging in too many fights. I say just stay away from those. As well as that, I definitely recommend riding the gas. Now riding the gas is a good idea, especially if you do land in these outer spots. The gas is going to be a little bit closer to you in the end. So basically what you got to do is just ride it along up to the safe zone. And then once you get to the safe zone, basically just play it slow, sit in a bush, whatever it may be. Now maybe, you know, bush camping is not your best bet, but because like this is a good game mode to uh, stay as long as you can alive, being in a bush is not really a bad idea. Unless obviously you're a streamer or content creator, I definitely don't recommend doing that for a gameplay. But if you are just getting these wins out of the way, sitting in a bush is not a bad idea. Um, you know, some people might expect that because this is the solo showdown and a lot of people are going to be sitting as back as they can. But again, riding the gas is not a bad idea in getting these first placements. And it's not like on the leaderboards, it tells you how many kills you get per game, your average kills, whatever it may be. Unless you keep up with your tracks on, or, you know, your, your Fortnite tracker or, or your Fortnite stats, it doesn't really matter how many kills you get in this placement. Just get your first places out of the way. Get as many or, or as high as you can in the placements on each of these games, and you're going to be looking really good. There are a lot of people that are really good in this game mode, so if you do go into this, be careful on who you challenge. Like I said, I'm not one to challenge gunfights too often in this game mode because they are some. there are some really good players playing this. They do obviously want to win, so they will challenge you. They will kill you if they have to just to get their place a little bit higher in that game now a good loadout to run in this game mode if you do get the chance to stay alive as long as you can the first i i usually run with a scar or a burst the new one of the new bursts is really good if you do get a legendary burst good use that or a legendary scar really good options there so you if you have that as your first weapon a pump shotgun for your second and rpg those are the three weapons that i like to pick up and then for the fourth and fifth slots i go with the med kit and say uh, minis or a large pot it depends on what you find mainly minis are a really good idea especially with med kits as well so those are a really good option right there now if you do like to snipe and you're really good at sniping you could replace the rpg with a sniper but again that rpg is more for just taking out opponents that do get pretty close if you do miss your shotgun pump obviously if you have shield that rpg bullet's not going to kill you entirely it will take you down a bit but again just taking out that opponent is really important in this solo showdown game mode now to go over the placement winnings, if you guys have not known, the first place winner gets 50,000 V-Bucks, so basically $500 worth of V-Bucks to your account, which is really big. That's a lot that they're giving out right there. Now not even that, you get up to 100th place, so 100 winners are going to guaranteed be winning V-Bucks in this tournament. So basically, it's second to fourth place gets 25,000. 5th to 50th get 13.5k, 13 so 13,500 V-Bucks right there. And the 51st to 100th place end up winning 7,500. So regardless, top 100 um, get winnings. They basically get free, free V-Bucks right there, which is really big. They're giving out a lot of V-Bucks here, a lot of winners. 51st to 100th get 7,500, which is $75 to 50 players or 49 players, which is a lot, a lot that they're giving out right there. So it's really good. I mean, obviously getting in these top 100 might be a little bit difficult, but hopefully some of these tips help you guys out because getting as many wins as you can is going to guarantee you a spot in this top 100. Being able to win most of these 50 matches is very important, especially if you do want to compete with all these other players. There are a bunch of people that have finished their 50 games and they are listed in this top um, a thousand list right here which i will leave any link in the description down below like i mentioned if you guys do want to see who's in the leaderboards right there but that'll basically do it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully this helps you guys out winning more of these solo showdown games if you did enjoy make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace